Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick video on the latest release of Linux Mint 20, the Mate edition, so the Mate desktop environment. And starting off, got this nice little welcome screen here, but I'll get rid of that for now. And uh, again, starting off, uh, since it's got the Mate desktop environment, which we can see here and here, it's a little bit, uh, I guess, a more of a refined version of, say, GNOME or GNOME Classic. Now, the Mate desktop environment was as a result of a bit of negative reception on what we now know as the GNOME 3 desktop environment. So it was a bit of a fork, so it, uh, keeping the, the classic things to it, so the classic feel a little bit at least there anyway. Uh, therefore, it is a little bit more of a lightweight uh, desktop environment in that case, which is nice to see. But uh, let's move across just quickly to the, the file manager and see what we're working with here, which is the Kja file manager. So a lot like a lot of the other lightweight uh, file managers in existence there on Linux, does everything that you want it to do. It's got a bit of a, a an Ubuntu-esque uh, feel to the file manager there, or the Nautilus one, but uh, lightweight, yet yeah, still, full, still fully functioned there. Uh, if we were to move on and have a look at a little bit of a look at the, the software for your viewing pleasure, we can see we've got a, a few things going on here, but uh, we would really be typing in what we want. So if we have a look at the Office applications, we can see that we've got LibreOffice, uh, graphics, a few basic ones, not too many. A browser, just one Firefox, uh, a mail client, so that's Thunderbird, and a few little bits and pieces here and there, but nothing to really write home about. You can install any other Linux software on here that you really want to, for the most part. Uh, if we were to move across to the kernel, we are running on the 5.4.x kernel, which is pretty good news to see. It is later, a lot later than the, the previous versions of Linux Mint. The reason for that is this is actually running on a, a, a the base, which is Ubuntu 20.04, which in turn means it is part of the long-term service release. So it is, uh, you install it once and it's available for use for the next five years. You won't have to upgrade your operating system whatsoever. And I find some people tend to like that, so that's nice to see there as well. If we were to jump across to some real basic specs and information here, so the CPU is nicely idling out there. The memory, it's running at about 550 megabytes of RAM straight out of the box. Nothing else is really loaded up here. Uh, this is uh, very preliminary, actually, because being that this is a beta release of the Mate edition of Linux Mint 20, then uh, it may not be fully optimized at this point, so not something that I would get into as well. But all in all, I do tend to enjoy this uh, release of Mate. It's not my daily driver like Ubuntu is, but it is still a pretty nice operating system. Nice and clean, lightweight, everything's where you need it to be. We've got the HUD display here so we can search for anything we want. But uh, there you go, guys. Just a simple, quick first look at Linux Mint 20 Mate Edition, currently in beta. I'll do some more videos on it later. But thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the the next one.